Hey everybody, it's Rachel. I am at the office today, as I usually am, three to six on Wednesday, and we've decided to roll out a new weekly update, video update called Hump Day Update, and it'll be every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Um, once we kind of get the hang of it, I'll probably do live so that it can be a little bit more interactive with questions, but for now, just to work out the kinks, we're going to record and then post. So what I'm going to do is provide you with some overall market information, update information. I'm going to talk to you about a specific topic every week. We're going to talk about listings and we're going to talk about events. And if you guys want to email me anything else that you'd like to hear, any questions that you have at Rachel Lewis at kw.com, feel free to do that. R-E-C-H-E-L-L-E-W-I-S at kw.com. And again, you can always text me as well. 704-577-9849. Okay, so when we talk about the Charlotte market, um, what most people want to talk about is days on market, month supply, average price, and all of that. But again, you know, real estate is a very geolocal industry. So one neighborhood can drive one price per square foot while a neighborhood just right down the road can have something completely different. And there are lots of factors to that. Schools are a big driver in Huntersville specifically and Concord. Um, I'm sure in Charlotte is gen in general. And then updates, size of lots, things like that. So if you have any specific questions about neighborhoods, your neighborhood, your street, um, we would be glad to provide you that information. Some of the technology that Keller Williams is rolling out is going to be able to have that at your fingertips too. So make sure that you ask us about that if you're interested. It'll be um, on an app on your phone that you can run anytime it's called a neighborhood update. And we'll be reaching out to you guys about that too in the coming months. So sorry, I'm trying to get my camera correct. So when we talk about Charlotte, we're at an average price point of 229000 Huntersville is at 310.050 and Concord is at 221.955. So that's all of the listings and that's the median. So they take the middle numbers. The month supply. So what that means is if no new houses came on the market and um, and just what was currently on the market sold, how long would it take all of those to sell? So for Charlotte, we're at 5.7 months. For Huntersville, we're at 2.9, and for Concord, we're at 2.7. So a buyer's market is six months and up. Seller market is under six months. So we're still in a seller's market across the board, but we are shifting to a buyer's market. This is a normal real estate shift. It happens. Um, it, the numbers used to be five to seven years. Now we're looking more at seven to 10. That probably has a lot to do with what happened in 2008 with the bubble bursting, if you will. And um, so many people defaulting on loans had a big effect on inventory. So the housing market, like anything else, is a basic economic model. So it's supply versus demand. So higher supply, lower demand me means lower prices. Higher demand, lower supply means higher prices. And 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, we saw double digit increases year over year as the market was rebounding and inventory stayed low while demand was really high. And we're talking now about shifting towards a buyer's market, which means that supply is diminishing or increasing while demand for houses is diminishing. So they're starting to balance out. But we're in sort of a unique situation in Charlotte. Hey, Amanda. Hi. Uh, because <laughs> we are, are still very low inventory. So even though buyer demand is down, inventory is still really down. Um, based on the lack of lending for these big developers. New construction just has not caught up yet um, to help with inventory needs. So um, again, that stayed low while even though demand has been high and now is shifting low, we're still at 2.7, 2.9, 5.7 months supply because that new construction piece just isn't there. Um, we're definitely dealing with that in Huntersville for sure. So that's why you're still seeing a strong market, but it is definitely affecting pricing as far as year over year increases. So price is still holding strong, still a great time to sell, still a great time to buy, but it's definitely, we're not looking at if you buy, if you 
bought now, you wouldn't be able to sell it and increase a year from now. So it's going to be, you're going to want to make sure you're going to hold on to it for five plus years. Um, interest rates are increasing too, which has an effect on buyer um, confidence in buying. You know, they feel like, and, and even with sellers too, because if you bought a house in the last four years or you refinanced and you've got this 3.5% loan, even though maybe you want a new house, you want a bigger yard, you want a bigger house, you want a different location, different school, whatever the case may be, you're thinking, gosh, I'm going to have to go buy at a 4.5% interest rate. Whereas if I stay, I'll keep this 3.5% interest rate. So that's definitely affecting um, buyer morale as well. Um, but we're not seeing, I mean, certainly I hear my mom talk about her first house was at 13% interest in the late 70s. So we're nowhere near back towards that. When I bought my first house, it was 6.25%, which I remember everybody telling me was such a great interest rate. But now I think our house is at like 3.25%. So um, it's like practically free money, right? So it is hard to swallow that pill. But what you have to understand is um, when you start in a shifting market, let's say maybe you sell for a little less than what you would have a year from now, but you're also going to get that gain on the buy side too. So if home prices are, let's say 5% lower than what you were hoping for, and you have a $100,000 house and you're wanting to buy a $200,000 house. So that means you're going to lose $5,000 on the sale of your house but you'll make that up on the $200,000 purchase because that's like a gain of 10,000. If that doesn't make sense, I can explain that to you guys individually for sure. Um, so another thing affecting is um, I buyers. A lot of people are selling directly to, and I buyer stands for instant buyer. So these are your open door, your offer pad. And these, these, um, buyers are not holding or renting the houses. They're immediately relisting them. Um, so they do offer you a price slightly below market. And then they charge what I think is an exorbitant fee to um, sell your house. So I've seen anywhere from six and a half to 13 percent, whereas the basic realtor charges six percent. We split that with a buyer's agent um, and each of us gets three percent. So it is significantly higher, but you have the convenience of not having to stage your house and deal with showings, which can be very desirable for a lot of people. So, um, you know, those are things that you'll want to definitely weigh. Just don't take the first offer you get from OfferPad or Open Door. Make sure you're talking to a realtor, too, that can talk to you about selling, because a lot of times I know with with the conversations I've had with people, I can list your house at a price where it will sell the first weekend on the market. So you're only dealing with maybe four or five days of showings and then you're still netting more money. And that's at the end of the day, that's all that matters. So um, we want to talk a little bit too about our current listings. We have three active listings right now that are not under contract. Um, one is in Winfield in Huntersville. It has like a third of an acre, big side entry garage. It's a brick home, big screen porch, nice big lot. And if you've never been to Winfield, very established landscape neighborhood. It's really beautiful. Winfield Parkway goes through um, the middle of the neighborhood and then all the houses are off of cul-de-sac, mostly cul-de-sac street. So very, very desirable layout for buyers. <clears throat> We took this house off the market to do some kitchen updates and it should be back on the market on Friday with new pictures. And I'm really excited for you guys to see what we've done in there. It's really beautiful. Um, it was the singular feedback we were getting on the house. Um, all the feedback was really positive, but everybody kept saying the kitchen felt a little dated. So not anymore. We we're excited for you to see that. We also have Bristol Place, 4601 Bristol Place. I'm sorry, 4160 Bristol Place in Concord. This house has been and renovated. It's incredible. It's full brick. It's cul-de-sac, fence backyard, um, all new wood floors on the first floor, brand new kitchen cabinets, all your plumbing fixtures, all your light fixtures new. Every bathroom has been completely renovated as well. It is gorgeous. So go check it out. And then we have a new construction listing in downtown Huntersville, right up the street from Crafty Beer Guy. And it's going to be very much a craftsman style floor plan, about 2,400 square feet, 
uh, master on the main, open concept, screen porch, two bedrooms, bathroom, and a bonus room upstairs. And you can walk to Crafty Beer Guy. You can walk to downtown Huntersville. New construction, 362.5 on that one. Um, we've had lots of interest in that house. I'm hoping we're going to have a framed house up in about a month so that we can start having some people out to walk around on that lot because it's about a half acre lot. Do really, really, really nice gym here in Huntersville. Um, we do have some events coming up too as well. We have the grand opening of the F45. It's a workout facility. It's going to be at 8301 Magnolia State Drive here in Cornelius near the Publix. Um, the grand opening is Saturday, April 6th from 9 to 1. Um, we'll be there handing out all kinds of Lewis and Kirk swag and welcoming you and we hope you'll stop by. Um, two weeks from now, we have the big Easter egg hunt with Fit for Mom, their Stroller Strides group. So much fun. If you've never seen Fit for Mom or Stroller Strides, really special workout program um, that's a little bit different from your normal brick and mortar workout. And we do a really cool egg hunt with them. And it's a lot of fun. We have giveaways and all that. So more on that in a couple of weeks. So definitely plan to come to the F45. I don't know a ton about this workout place, but it, it's a unique workout style too. Um, I think I saw a picture of some people with some sledgehammers or something. So picking it up and putting it down and getting stronger. So hopefully we'll see you at one or both of these events. Check out those listings. If you have any specific questions about market updates, I would love to hear from you. Again, Rachel Lewis at kw.com. You can always go to our website, lewisandkirk.com, L-E-W-I-S, a-N-D-K-I-R-K dot com. Or you can call or text me at 704-577-9849. My whole team is here to support you. And we'd love to answer any real estate related questions that you have. Thanks. And we'll see you next Wednesday.